everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix this annoying DirectX 12 error for Black Ops 6 on the PC. The first thing you want to do of course is to update your graphics drivers. If you don't have Nvidia app, please download it. Click on drivers and update your drivers and see if that works. The next thing is to verify the game files. I'm sure you know how to do this, but you just need to right click on the game in Steam, go to properties, go to installed files and verify integrity of game files. If you're an Xbox Game Pass or Battle.net. It's actually very similar. Although I'm not going to show it in this video, it'll take too much time. The next thing you want to do um, if you are having trouble running DirectX 6 is I would recommend uh, downloading the newest version of DirectX. Uh, I'm sorry, DirectX 12. You should download the newest version to see what version you are currently running. You can type in run. From here, type in DXDIAG, press enter, and then it will show you the newest version of DirectX right here, DirectX version 12. Um, I would also, if you have an older version, I would recommend uh, going here. I'll put the URL in the video description below, but this is the newest version of DirectX. Download this to see if this fixes the issue. If it doesn't, you can right click on this, go to properties and under uh, general launch options, you can type in dash DX11 to force it into DirectX 11. You can use uh, Steam to do this even if you have not downloaded this on Steam. You can click on add a game, add a non-Steam game and find it and then add it to Steam and do what I just told you to do. The next step, if this still isn't working, is to update your Windows 11 or at least ensure that your OS is on a compatible build. So how do you do this? So you go to settings, go to Windows Update on the bottom left, and then check for updates and install any pending updates that you need. The next step is to reinstall shaders. So in game, go to settings, graphics display, and click on restart shaders preloading to see if that, fin if that fixes the problem. And the last thing you want to, might try is to run the system file checker. So open command prompt, so type in cmd under search, right click on this, hit run as administrator. It will ask you uh, to confirm. This will come up, type in sfc slash scan now. What does this do? This will check your entire system for corrupted files and automatically replace them. This will take a couple of minutes to fix, but this might fix the issue if this is your problem. Okay, if this video helped you, leave the video a like and please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a nice day.